No, maybe it belonged to the previous owners of this place who were busy typing when they should have been taking care of the house better. Speaking of which... Mm, yes, dear? Well, just some of the same things that needed attending to before you got locked up. No pressure, but we really Look, need... Look, I'm to honest, sweetheart. We've already done a general inventory of the issues. The leaking roof, check. A metal roof this time. The softwood floors in the living room, water damage. Double pane windows, the, the rock wall out back. The boys need a closet built in their room. That they do love her. Look, I, I can get a lawyer to help me with some of this, but... Hell, babe, I just got a county and I need a, a few days to breathe. You know? I need some fresh-ass country air in my lungs. I just need to ease into things, okay? Just ease into things. You know how it is? I need to walk the earth. And, you know, I need to, you know, go for a walk, an earth walk, you know? Get comfortable. You know, when they would let us outside in the exercise yard, a, a buddy of mine, you know Ted, right? Well, we would walk around the perimeter fence, and sometimes we jog. And this one time, I just turned to him and I said, what the hell are we doing out here? I felt like a damn trained ape or something, walk around in fucking circles. And, and Ted just turns to me, and it was like a magic statement, man. A real wise-blooded thing. He turns to me, and he says, relax. This is just living, taking its walk. Wasn't that something? I mean, it was just like, pow, it, it settled all those ghostly unfriendlies that were squirming in me, you know? A real wise, bloody thing to say. You know, and as his time was up, his daughter picked him up and moved him out to Lubbock, and I was thinking, you know, I owe him a visit. You owe us, your family, a visit. A permanent visit. No more vacations. I've got bills here that need to be reckoned with. And the kids need to see a dentist. I don't mean to rain on your earth walk, but we, I mean everything around us, needs attention. Babe, I, I know. I, I know I'm here for you. I'm getting the dead car fixed. You know, I just thought that, that you needed the attention first, you know? You and I need to get right with our quiet selves, you know? Rekindle that magic and... Once we're all satisfied and comfortable with each other, well, then we could attend to the homestead needs. You know, when he first saw me, little Timmy came running to me in tears. And so did Marie. You know what that does to a daddy? It does my Christian spirit good, and it clears that <laughs> sludge out of my soul faster than jail food goes through a gut. Ma, can we talk about what we were talking about this morning? Remember? The last time Timmy and me were both together, we visited, had a great time. <laughs> we had some laughs. We stashed some money. You remember? I know, I know. Pa tried to warn us off that job, but we did it anyway. Timmy was young, but he was always the instigator. I think I went with him on all those crazy jobs because I wanted to look out for him, be his bodyguard, his uh, segundo, like brothers do. Remember? Pa thought we were both fucking nuts. Sorry. Until he saw that stash of cash, said it reminded him of the good old days before he went to prison. It was never easy when he went away, for any of us. Anyway, we didn't really stash the cash. We left it in a paper sack, a grocery sack on the kitchen table. The law was after us like a thundering herd. You and Pa had all the hiding places. Over the years, you probably buried over half a mill out in the land somewhere. You probably have 500 in that little purse right there, and you don't even know it. Well, I checked underneath the floorboards on the shed, the mattress in the RV. I even looked in that hole under that heart-shaped rock and that stand of cactus out back. Damn, 
seems like that hole's been there since Billy the Kid rode partying into hell. <laughs>